Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you live gameplay and a breakdown of a new defense that I've been running online last few games. Uh, it is out of the Carolina playbook, and it's the 52 defense. And uh, this is a defense that is, I've been finding a lot of my opponents online that are having a hard time with it. Now, one of the adjustments I do with the defense is I actually go ahead and uh, do uh, linebacker rush, especially for a bear, uh, the Bears team, which is a 3-4. That's going to get Cleo Mack and Leonard Floyd off the edges, and then I've got two really good inside linebackers. Now, uh, with this gameplay, I actually learned um, just some minor adjustments that I have to do to, to basically create a full defensive scheme. And I'm going to try to use her, the linebacker on the right side of the screen instead of the left. Now, the majority of the game I was playing, or I was using the inside linebacker on the left-hand side. And uh, to, to make the scheme a little bit more effective, um, I'm going to be going ahead and using the other side. Uh, so one, once again, I have the baseline to set this uh, cover two blitz. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to base the line. You're going to spread your defensive line out, crash them in, and you'll ba basically get pressure off. And this is a really good defense to run against anybody that likes to use uh, uh, empty sets, no running backs, uh, that type of situation, because they're really not going to have anybody in the, in the backside. Now, what my opponent did in this game, he ran... Uh, basically the uh, uh, close, you know, the split, the split close formation, and he ran halfback wheel um, the entire game, pretty much, and he made made really good reads. Uh, he knew the play inside and out. He forced me to ta to, to defend the flats, and once I started defending the flats, he started attacking me up, up top. But uh, this guy was was very reckless. He went for it on fourth down. But he's fourth and 24 down on his own two yard uh, on the two yard line in his in his own red zone, I'm trying to go for it, and I'm just going to send the dogs after him. You know, go ahead and try to attack me up top. I I, I really don't care. So uh, basically, get he he blocks. He does mass protect right there. He almost squeezes the ball in, but my defenders are there to make a play for me, so I'm able to go and get a stop and get an easy score. So we're going to go and jump on to the next uh, next series here. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and stay with this cover two defense, uh, spread the line, crash down, um, blitz my right side linebacker, or it should be the left side linebacker, then hover with my middle linebacker and try to uh, pick up anybody over the middle. This, he actually had a, a, a I, my guy just fell down right here, and he to pick up some good yards, but he was dropping the ball down to the flat and no huddle. I think he, what he does is he actually goes ahead and tacks me off the left-hand side to the flat. And I, I still got, I think it went with hard flats. And sure enough, he goes to the hard flat. I get a nice little animation with the tackle. They go ahead and, and get him. You know, huddled again. That's this whole thing. You would just keep running on um, halfback wheel. And I, I didn't really want to get out of this defense. I didn't want to go into a cover six. I just wanted to, to play this defense against them. As you can see, the pressure comes in and he actually throws the ball right to me. I get an interception and I'm going to get the ball down to the 45. Um, unfortunately, in the next offensive series, I actually give the ball right back to him. So uh, back on defense again, uh, he's running split uh, split close, going with a cover two version of it. I think I went ahead and did hard flats, just try to get, uh, he, he blocks uh, the house right there and actually goes ahead and takes off this quarterback and I, I went in and so the dog's after him and uh, he's right now two, and seven, uh, two for seven, 29 yards and an interception or so. So second attempt situation, once again, cover two shell. And right here, uh, he uh, actually hits a seam right here with a good play. Uh, he actually possession catches as it gets it down to the 50-yard line. No huddles again. That's his thing. And this is where I started playing around with cover three. So what I decided to do is to go ahead and take my defensive tackles and put them into hook zones. And I'm going to use it with a three-hook zone over the left. And what he does is he throws right into uh, into his zone. So Cleo Mack is able, able to go ahead and get an interception. So I get the ball back. He throws right into coverage. So this is going to be the second part of this defense is that I'm going to jump in from uh, a cover two into a cover three. So that's the critical thing is that you want to use the right side, the right inside linebacker with this particular defense so you're giving your opponent the same look over and over again. So once again, one of the hard flats, he actually throws towards my guy. I'm a little bit out of position. I go in and get a nice little tackle right here. and only give up, I think, about six yards on that particular play because he does a little in route uh, with the wide receivers. 
this is where this play just shines is uh, these uh, these empty sets so I go into cover three I probably should have stayed with the cover two version of it uh, so I go ahead he throws right into the seam my defender actually comes up and swats the ball out with the uh, the middle high low play uh, third and fourth situation fire zone two is going to be basically the defense I'm going to run uh, let's see if I change it up a little bit no should be on the right guy uh, but here the pressure is going to come in very quick he's going to make a fast read I got to get over to Kelsey that's my read and actually you can see the pressure just comes in and cleans him up and I think he no huddles or actually no he goes into a play from an 11 a fourth and 11 type situation so I'm going to go ahead and stay with the pressure with the fire uh, fire zone two right here he goes into split close and I'm sending the, actually no I go into cover three once again just to go ahead and give him a different look and right here actually throws right in to Khalil Mack I'm able to go ahead and intercept it uh, and just get real flunky um, animation right there so uh, looking pretty good in this series right here so I've, I've done I've done pretty good give the ball back to him still up seven to nothing uh, just just very very crappy offensive I should have been up by 21 to nothing against this guy because I've gotten a couple you know a few stops against him so this time I switch it up off to the right he drops it down to flat and I'm going to stop him get uh, get the ball down to uh, get him a three yard gainer so he's not going to win getting three yards in the flat every time he's going he's going to give himself he's not going to get a, a victory right here so going to cover three version of it and actually he throws a nice play right there and comes down with it uh, he found the route with a deep post over the middle and because it was going to cover three I just wanted to give him a look once again I think I stayed in cover three and I should be using that middle linebacker I've got the verts uh, set up and right here he actually goes a little crossing rod takes off this quarterback and I send the dogs after him and actually go ahead and get him down there so 6 and 6 for 15 94 yards three interceptions this should be basically the score should be like 28 to nothing right now so uh, he goes into empty set I'm going to be looking off to Kelsey. I was worried about him hitting the seam with Watkins, so what I did is actually put both of my safeties in a yellow zone. But if you look, the safety actually slid inside. He should have he slid away from the line, so he's actually he pops for for, for easy touchdown right uh, in the seam uh, right there because the safety didn't didn't play a, a hook zone. He just came in, so I don't know what happened with that. I probably should have left him in, in the deep blues. That probably would have been a better situation. So once again, empty set. We're going to go set the dogs after him, and you can see. The pressure almost comes in and gets him, uh, uh, but uh, he's able to go and get a first down by just falling uh, forward, forward, and getting um, the animation for, for a run right there. So he only ran a couple plays. That's it. He just he ran a few different plays. He had his reads right here. Cover two again. I should be on the right hand side instead of the left. I, I did a QB contain just to try to contain. So no pressure came in, but he actually threw the ball to me. And the, one of the good things about having to contain is that he was used to running around. So if he, he scrambled off to the left or right, he was going to have a hard time with that. So right back with this uh, 52 defense, he's back. He's going to be doing halfback wheel. Once again, I go ahead and jump into uh, running. Um, both sides. I've actually got both these guys on uh, verts. I actually gave him a cover three shell look, and this is not a, not a good thing to do because then he's, they can make it read a tendency. So I should have showed him cover two right there. But once again, he throws back to the flat. I had a defender out there to go and stop that. So he's coming on another three wide receiver set. So this is probably split back once again, half back wheel because it's this guy. All this guy ran. Um, should be using the right side of the screen. Just so I'm giving my I'm not giving my opponent any kind of tells. And right here, we're going to get send the dogs after him. You can see the pressure comes in, and he actually throws a nice dot into the seam to go and get the ball down to the 29-yard line. So that was a good throw right there. But you can see the pressure was coming in. If he didn't get rid of that ball right away, he was going to be screwed. And I actually ran off. I, I, I passed off to, to the right-hand side. So should have been usering Smith the entire time. So right here, taking a little crosser. He throws it basically to five defenders with that route. So that was just a bad decision by him trying to hit that corner that was just not available against that cover three shell so here one of the things this is what I should have mixed into the scheme was the cover the, the basically the man look uh, and I didn't show that to him at all just to throw him off a little bit and that 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 cover the man look would have been the man blitz probably would have been a little bit better against him uh, he's able to go and hit the seam once again gets the ball down to the side the, to uh, the uh, 10 yard line right there inside the 10 yard line you got 19 seconds left to go back with uh, basically all out zone 
He's got to defend. He takes off his quarterback. I send the dogs after him. And right here he completes the ball, but actually catches it down here on the 8-yard line. Um, pretty much running out of time right now. And uh, basically he's still going with this halfback wheel, split back type situation. So um, I'm going to stay. I think what I did is I went with cover 3 out of the shell right away yep and then I just went ahead and I took the guys and actually put them in blues I've got a hard flat off to off the left um, the flat on the right hand side was wide open he actually got a good pass right there he should have came down with it but it just it was too far out there so right here uh, in a third goal situation he pretty much doesn't have anything out with that and I, I think I switched up my defense I wanted to 43 so just want to try to focus on this 52 for you so back to the fire two zone I want to establish this pass rush. It's, it's all about establish, establishing that. He goes back into this split back type formation and um, actually tries to throw right into the coverage right there. He had two defenders in the area. So he was having a hard time finding lanes because I was switching between cover three and this cover two, two look and it's just he was giving him some, some trouble with that. Back to the cover two, I should be on the right the right defender instead of the left, so I don't, I'm not giving my opponent any, any uh, uh, reads right here. I wanted to cover two, I didn't actually, def I put a defender in a blitz and actually had a spy out there, so the pressure didn't come in. Uh, so he actually had a little bit more time to ba basically complete that ball. And uh, right here, go back into uh, cover three, hard flats, got, a, uh, got some verts going through here. He actually throws into the flat defender, but he catches the ball, and my defender doesn't do anything. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and just keep this blitz. He just got just no huddling, running the same play, running the same play. And I'm just trying to establish this blitz, see how I can get some stops with it. And right here, actually throws a nice little dot to go and get the ball into the red zone. So, guys, this is a 52 defense. I just wanted to show this to you just to kind of give you an idea of what I've been doing on defense. I end up This guy ended up quitting out against me because I scored some points and got some turnovers. So, once again, I'm a subscriber. Thank you for support. And until next time.